All right, so we're gonna go ahead and activate the Wi-Fi for the 78 model. First, what we need to do is make sure the ethernet cord is plugged in. In order to activate it, we'll have to first get into the IP address. So as you see, this is my IP address here. But in order to do that, I'll show you as well. We'll go ahead and log in under admin. Once we're under admin, we'll go under machine status, our tools, network settings, and then we're gonna do network connectivity. So here it shows the option where it's wired, wireless, and non-network. And we wanna do wireless. Enable through internet services. So what that means is we have to web in into our IP address of the copier. Then we'll come to this part of the portion. You'll go ahead and grab your wireless dongle and you'll go ahead and insert it on the back and then we'll move on over to the internet services. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate on how to activate the wireless. First, we wanna log in. Log in the admin, A-D-M-I-N, and the password being one, 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 four ones. Once you're in here, we'll go under properties. We're gonna go under our setup here. Then we're gonna find the Xerox wireless network, hit edit, and then hit edit again. You're gonna scan for available networks, and then it might take a minute, it might refresh, but once you find your network, you'll go ahead and select it. And here you're gonna type in your password for your um, network. Once you do that, then the properties have been saved right there. We'll go ahead and select close. Click close there. You'll see that there's a check mark. Since we already did it, it should be fine once you plug it in, because then we'll have to go into the copier next. So, as long as it's looking like this, we should be good. Now it's highlighted. Now that we're back under admin, it may be under wired, but go ahead and select wireless and then we'll hit okay. Now it lets us, and then from here, it'll now allow us to enable the wireless network. Now the IPs are gonna be changing. So if it's necessary to power down the machine and turn back on, just so it gives it the correct IP address. And then that's how you set up the wireless on the 78. And now we have a new IP address. We'll load it up without turning off. And then we can go ahead and log out. And then we'll go ahead and download the drivers next.